TVAM said good morning Britain for the last time today in one of the biggest upheavals in the history of commercial television. Out too go three of the country's big regional companies, Thames, TVS and TSW. They're all casualties of last year's franchise auction. As the minutes ticked away, TV AM's breakfast presenter Lorraine Kelly just couldn't keep her emotions hidden any longer. Hi, Time. We thanked you, the viewers, excuse me, for your loyalty. Outside the studios, they played the last post as some of the technicians sacked in the company's bitter dispute with the unions five years ago returned to celebrate its demise. So you're the biggest robot. But for the viewers, this was the moment when Britain's most popular breakfast programme came to an end. We've enjoyed your company, yeah. but yeah. from TVM, sadly, we now have to say it finally. Thank you and goodbye. At the party afterwards, there was no bitterness towards the new company which takes over tomorrow. I think today is a new day and let's look forward to new beginnings. I wish good, uh, GMTV good luck. At the offices of Good Morning Television, they're putting the finishing touches to a program which will differ very little from TVAM. We think it's terribly important to keep faith with the TVAM viewers. After all, they didn't ask for the legislation that changed things, and we want them to feel familiar and happy with the programming that we're providing. At TBS in Southampton, the last program has already been recorded. Viewers in that region will see tonight excerpts from the company's output over the last 11 years. But the program producer doubts if many will realise its significance. An awful lot of people simply didn't notice that TVS took over from Sutton. A lot of people still refer to what's on on Sutton tonight. And a lot of the old familiar faces will still be there. Thames Television, which lost its London franchise to Carlton, will bow out tonight with a compilation of its finest programmes, some of which it will continue to make for the network as an independent producer. But the real significance of tonight's changes is their long-lasting effects on the ITD system, with many companies bidding high for the new franchise, there are doubts about whether they can all survive. Harry, will those watching notice any difference? I suppose that'll really depend on what sort of programmes you watch and, of course, where you watch them. Um, I'm in the newsroom of a new company called the London News Network. Now, this was set up jointly by the two London television companies to provide something new. It'll be a seven-day-a-week news service for London. Now, the programme which will go out from here next week will also be an hour-long programme, not a half-hour programme, and they've promised all sorts of innovations in the way it's presented, so something new for London. But it is true that in many regions, viewers will see a change of logo and not a lot else. And of course, programmes like Minder and The Bill will still be broadcast, even though Thames has lost its franchise. Harry, you mentioned a few changes, but what about in the long term? Well, that's what no one's terribly sure about. Some of the companies who bid for the franchise, the franchise in the auction last year did so with bids which are now regarded as too high. We've already seen the merger of two, comp two of the regional companies. The chances are we could see some more mergers or even one company going out of business altogether. Harry, thank you.